Hi guys, it's me, and I am here for my 10 week update. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you so much for all of you guys who have sent me messages, advice, your prayers, your blessings. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to get into my 10 week symptoms. So today I have, well, for the week I have been nauseous. I've been fatigued, um, very, very, very fatigued. I've been sleepy, like, it's so funny that after I wake up in the morning and I feel like I have to go right back to bed again, and that's the funny part, and um, it's like, hello, you know, you just woke up, you know, but, um, I guess that's just the way it goes, but, um, I'm trying to get used to this whole thing. Hopefully, at the end of the 12 weeks, it subsides and everything goes back to normal. Um, we did have a doctor's appointment on last week, Monday, and she did advise me that everything was progressing well. Um, the baby's heartbeat was like 195 beats per minute. Uh, you know, so she's like, you've had two ultrasounds, you know, and they've been good, so think positive, you know, and I have. Also, I, the spotting has stopped. I really didn't, sp haven't been spotting for this week, so thank God for that. Um, she did also advise me that the spotting sometimes is due to either intercourse or walking. Sometimes, you know, your blood vessels get knocked around in your, it could be outside of your cervix or in your cervix and it can cause bleeding. Um, she did advise me that my cervix was closed, so that's always a plus. Uh, it was sealed, so I'm happy about that. Um, what else? As far as my loose stool, that has subsided. Um, it really hasn't been happening, which is perfect, because it leaves me with such a weird stomach feeling. But um, she also gave me some medicine for that, and it, it was basically to cause a reverse effect, so I won't be... I won't have loose stool, and then it's so funny that now I'm not going as often. I'm kind of like, okay, well, I hope I don't get constipated. <laughs> That's the funny part, but um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Everything has been well so far. It could have been worse. Um, here are some pictures. This is a side profile of the baby. There. Head's looking kind of big. I know that's normal, <laughs> but um, here's another picture. This is like from the front. So yeah, so that made me really, really happy. I was happy to hear the good news and very grateful and thankful. So that's about it. So um, congratulations to all you guys that are out there trying to get pregnant. Um, to all of you who have just discovered that you are pregnant. Also, um, it's so funny. Because I did receive people, um, messages saying that you guys, um, some of you were due like around the same time with me and, um, it'll, it'll be really fun to have a pregnancy buddy, but I don't know exactly how the pregnancy buddy thing works. So if you guys can advise me of that, um, that would be perfect. Um, what else? Advise me of the pregnancy buddy and all of those things so I can understand how it works. Alrighty, um, my due date is still February 17th. It has not changed, but, you know, it can change along the way. Um, so yeah, that's it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And just for being there who you are. Being there for me. Thank you so much. Take care and have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't show you a stomach picture, so here we go. This is my stomach. Um, nothing has really increased in size. It's been this way, and like I said, I never had a washboard stomach, so I don't expect to have that now. <laughs> and I've always had my little love handle. But anyway, um, so thank you so much and 